parachute is the rising cost of college tuition. This is an extremely important topic to us, as well as to many of our classmates, due to the fact that we're all high school seniors, and most will be soon spending four plus years at college or university. We, with the help of our families, will have to take on the burdens of college expenses, student loans, debt, and more. In recent decades, tuition prices have been rising at an alarmingly fast rate, and counters like inflation and salaries haven't been able to keep up with it. This increase in cost has a profound effect on several aspects of our nation. Firstly, it impacts the economy. Higher prices lead to more borrowing, more people requiring financial aid, and therefore greater taxes. It also results in a huge debate over what should be done, and this is quite evident in politics. Currently, politicians such as Bernie Sanders are advocating for solutions, which in this case would be free public college. These examples give all the more reason for individuals to find relevance in the growing crisis. Paying for college tuition, however, is not just an issue relative to us. It extends to anyone pursuing higher education. The majority of our society will have to deal with these expenses, and many will find difficulty with this. In recent years, there's been a large influx of undergraduate and graduate students, mainly due to the ease of access of college and universities, borrowing, and the promise of false hope. Unfortunately, it is not uncommon for these students to be unaware of the true price of attending an institution. Oftentimes, the tuition and other part expenses listed online can be far from the truth. In addition, some underestimate the impact borrowing and student loan debt can have. Federal aid is one way that students can find solace in these costs, but this subject has been lacking recently, and the money comes directly from the citizens anyway. Lastly, the concept di of diversity has been given more of an emphasis in colleges and universities. With the growing populations of various people, new problems are introduced within the school environment, changing the way processes work. Nearly anyone can find importance in the rising costs of college tuition. During our research, we compiled a list of various sources and their analyses called our Literature Review. We conducted an interview with Dr. Randy Olson, an economics professor at The Ohio State University. His main points were that students should consider where they're going to school heavily based on their intended major, mainly by price. He means this by, if a student for example, is majoring in massage therapy, they probably shouldn't go to a $60,000 a year school and end up in a lot of debt in their low wage field. We also interviewed Dr. Robert Gitter from Ohio Wesleyan University. His main points were that a lot of the costs that go into tuition are from administrative costs and extra facilities and the betterment of the college experience. An example being the RPAC workout center down at OSU. It costs millions of dollars a year to maintain and initially construct. We looked at an article published by the National Association of Student Financial Aid Administrators. And their main point was that the average living standards have risen in the last century due to increased techno technology productivity in many industries, such as manufacturing and agriculture. But since productivity has an increase in education, price growth cannot slow down, although technological changes have heavily impacted education. Another article authored by Campos urged that since technological process had, goes up, so does the demand for skilled workers. This is implicated by the fact that teaching salaries have actually gone down since the 70s, but since universities only want the most skilled workers, costs go up. CNBC states that the very increase of tuition prices has been increasing since the 70s as well. The most prominent example of this is Harvard University. If it had been increasing at the same rate it had been in the 70s, their tuition would be $15,000 right now, but it's currently sitting at around $45,000. Cornell University also published an article stating how colleges use a lot of resources advertising themselves to prospective students. They don't advertise their price, they advertise their state-of-the-art facilities to attract newcomers. And a paper authored by Beeler states that the demand for college degrees has increased but government financial aid has not increased nearly as much. Another article published by NPR tells us that the FAFSA is now being introduced earlier in the year, moving from February to October, in order to increase the number of students who apply for federal financial aid. The increase in price would be minor for the government. There's a few ways that people are actively fighting against the rising tuition. Presidential candidate Bernie Sanders is urging to bring college costs down to European levels. He has gained many youth followers due to his stance. One counter-argument to our points is that the deficit in admissions is due to decreased competition among schools. Another one is that some people think it's a bad idea to give money to the state 
institutions instead of directly to the student but there are several ways to avoid the us as high tuition prices students who leave college in the us leave with around thirty thousand dollars in debt but they wouldn't internationally many european countries have absolutely free public college but aside from that european college costs are just lower in general As part of our research, we conducted a survey and got 227 entries asking six questions. For the first question, we asked on a scale of 1 to 5 how much the price of college tuition has affected their decision. About half of the participants answered 4 or 5, which means that they're very concerned about the price. And another fourth of them answered 3, which means they're pretty considerably uh, worried about the price. For our second question, we asked the respondents if they ever considered a community college over a state or private level college. A considerable amount answered yes, but actually the majority of the respondents answered no. We failed to dissolve our, our bias because the respondents live in a high income community, which is unlike the rest of the nation. And we feel that if we conducted the survey on a national level, the results would be more tending towards yes. For our third question, we asked our respondents why or why not that consider community college over state or private local colleges. A lot of them answer that money just isn't an issue or that plainly they just didn't want to. But also a lot of them answer that they pick, they have considered community college because it, it would save a lot of money because the tuition costs are a lot lower. For our fourth question, we asked our respondents how much the tuition of the college they will be paying to will be. The majority of their answers were within the range of 10 to 20,000, which indicates that the majority of students are going to a lower public college, a lower cost public college rather than a higher cost private college. For our fifth question, we asked our respondents whether or not they're going to debt to pay for their college. The majority of them said yes. This shows our society is entering a norm where amassing large amounts of debt to pay for college tuition and get a college degree is acceptable. With student loans becoming more readily available than ever before, it is becoming much easier to attend college. This is leading to a depreciation in the value of the college education. For our sixth and final question, a plurality of our respondents responded that price is the most important factor when choosing their college. This backs up our claim that price is becoming a bigger issue in today's society. According to Dr. Randy Olson, an economics professor at the Ohio State University, college tuition is rising most heavily in areas of high administration. This is most likely the cause of high cost policies. A best way to represent this is how, car, is how car manufacturers have to regulate the amount of emissions that their cars produce. And this is costing them a lot of money. Dr. Olson also stated that improved recreational facilities and student dorms have also led to this increased tuition. Along with this, we also believe that technology is playing a factor in this too. For example, nowadays it's a norm for, uh, for every classroom to have a smart board. For the action part of our action research project, we decided to create a website called thepriceofcollege.org. We focus mainly on young adults going to college next year or young adults already in college and decided this was the best group to pertain to our topic because they're the ones most affected by the price of education at the collegiate level. The purpose of our website is to inform this group of people about how to make the right choices concerning college tuition. It also includes all of our interviews and our sources and our entire action research as a whole.